There has really been a, a tremendous breakthrough, actually, I'd say, in the cancer field in the last three or four or five years. We're starting to see uh, uh, very incredible breakthroughs in the clinic with something called immunotherapy. So this is in contrast to chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery, sort of a new pillar of therapy. And in this strategy, what we're doing is trying to awaken the patient's immune system, their own immune system, to tackle the cancer. And we're starting to see people, even with advanced cancers, having great responses. And there's many kinds of immunotherapy that are really being developed now, cellular-based, antibody-based, uh, stuff we work on in terms of using viruses to stimulate your immune system. And, and all of these are really exciting because we've seen for the first time in decades uh, people surviving when normally they would have had uh, no opportunity to survive. So we've been working for, for several years trying to develop new therapies that uh, would, we think, be uh, safer yet more effective. So the real challenge in cancer is trying to find therapies that will attack the cancer and not your normal tissue. So as you know, with things like chemotherapy, we often see effects against the tumor, but also the normal tissues get attacked. So patients lose their, their hair and they have uh, problems with their digestive system. And, and probably most importantly, uh, it suppresses their immune response. So they're not actually able to respond against their own cancer. So our thought was, can we use something different that's not going to be immunosuppressive? That would be immune stimulatory. And the, uh, that plus a lot of molecular work, we try to understand the differences between cancer cells and normal cells. We found there was a key difference between them that we could exploit. And that difference was that cancer cells, uh, as they evolve from normal tissues, have lost the ability to fight virus infections. And so that suggested to us that we could use viruses to strategically attack cancer, make viruses of their parasites cancer cells specifically. And that's really the basis for the project that we're having funded by uh, Prostate Cancer Canada in November is, a, is really a clinical study where we're testing two viruses in combination that will attack prostate cancer and hopefully uh, have a big impact on the tumor itself and ultimately uh, lead to good outcomes for patients with very, very few side effects. That's the, that's the dream.